Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Liz Horton, Senior Vice President of your Greenville Chamber. I want to remind you that we host these Community Matters discussions to connect you with local, state, and national leaders. You can find past recordings as well as the upcoming Community Matters schedule on our website at greenvillechamber.org. Just a couple of housekeeping notes before we get started. During the presentation, all attendees should be on mute with their cameras turned off. Uh, however, we would like to encourage you to submit any questions that you may have through the chat feature as we go throughout the program, and we will get to as many of those questions as we can at the end of the presentation. Um, today, I am speaking with Stephen Padgett, who is the sales trainer for Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina. Stephen has been with Blue Cross for nearly 20 years in a variety of capacities, including customer service, training, corporate communications, and sales. In fact, he coordinated for several years a national walk at lunch day um, at Falls Park for Blue Cross Blue Shield. Currently, he trains sales agents and works with the chamber members to provide health insurance options that are exclusive to our members. And we are very excited about some changes coming up, not only to our plans in the 51 plus market, but some exciting new programs to benefit our investors who have two to 50 employees. So welcome, Stephen. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. I'll turn it over to you. Great. Thank you, Liz. It is, it's wonderful to be with you guys this morning. As Liz mentioned, I, I hosted a, a national walk at lunch day pre-COVID there in Falls Park and um, just thoroughly enjoyed the beautiful downtown Greenville area. And, and um, it's a pleasure to be with you guys today. I really do um, appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy holiday schedules to spend a few minutes with us today. Um, we're going to spend the next 30, 45 minutes um, working through kind of the, the landscape around small business and regulatory. And there's been a lot of change in, from a legislative standpoint over the last 12 to 18 months, um, not just with changes in administrations, but things to try to to help the um, the economy and business owners recover uh, coming through and, and hoping to be now come to the other side of the COVID pandemic. So we'll, we'll spend a little bit of time talking about a couple of regulatory pieces uh, that are really one that may be more well discussed and then a, a second that impacts um, additionally from a legislative standpoint. Uh, then we'll spend a, a couple of minutes talking about um, our 51 plus offerings and some changes for 2022. Um, you know, there's there what we and, and then we'll they'll wrap up some really new exciting offerings around small business owners that are in the two to 50 space. Um, but I, you know, I, I would want to make sure that we all remember that that we have options for our business owners, uh, regardless of size. We're, we're excited today to really extend and, and provide options. Um, into the two to 50 space that, that we've really been hearing from the community that we needed to try to, to provide a, a, a more variety of options. Um, we've heard you um, and we're here today to kind of share those extensive offerings and then expand our ongoing relationship uh, with the Greenville Chamber and in, in, in helping to, to provide some additional values with your memberships through the Chamber, some product offerings uh, that we've partnered with the Greenville Chamber to be able to share as part of the membership. So we're really excited about a lot of things going on. We, we feel like the product portfolios in all spaces, whether it's two to 50, 51 plus, you know, are really positioned in a, in a really strong way to help provide some real strategic advantages from a business owner standpoint. Um, and what is a very difficult labor market uh, to be able to offer affordable, high quality, recognized Blue Cross products um, and we're very excited to be able to bring those to you today. So with that, um, we'll, we'll walk through the, the agenda here. And then at the end, we'll be happy to answer questions um, around, you know, the topics that we have today that we can really help, you know, drive uh, some discussions uh, here in December. And, and if, you're, if you're in that time of year where you know, insurance and open enrollment for a 1-1 one -one effective date, you know, if you hear some things today that, you know, I, really are and you're with another care and you're looking to make some changes we certainly have time here today that we can talk through that with you as well so with that let's go ahead and get started let's touch on the landscape around the regulatory environment and you know as, as we look 
there are a couple of pieces of major legislation that came out of Washington um, that, that we want to touch on. The American Rescue Plan, which um, receives a lot of discussion, has, has had a, a good bit of, of information discussed in the mainstream media. And then we also want to touch on the Consolidated Appropriations Act or the CAA. Um, this uh, is an additional piece of legislation. It actually was passed prior to the rescue plan that, that now had some a little longer run out time before the implications and, and the implementation took place. So we'll touch on that as well. The, the rescue plan in and of itself um, was, a, was one of the larger pieces of legislation. Um, and quite honestly, the impacts um, on some of the health insurance, especially in individual and now as it's carried over um, as we'll talk about into the small group space, with some of the most significant changes to the Affordable Care Act that we've seen since the legislation was passed. Um, as we all remember last year, there was an extended special enrollment period um, that basically kept open enrollment for some individual plans open through mid-August. Um, the, the drastic expansion of the subsidy eligibilities for 2021 that carries into 2022, where we see more individuals are eligible at higher income levels uh, for subsidies, which has an impact on <clears throat> whether or not they may look at the individual marketplace. Um, open enrollment for this year has been extended. The last four years we had seen the, the open enrollment period had been shortened from November 1st through mid-December. Um, for this year, going into 2022, into January 2022. Um, and one other piece that we want to, you know, we will touch on here is the eligible for the qualified for unemployment subsidies last year. Um, that, I, you know, I apologize. We're having, I'm having some technical difficulties with the camera. So I will continue um, just not on camera so that it doesn't uh, cause issues from a um, understanding and focusing on the content. Um, but the unemployment subsidy, which provided a financial assistance, uh, extreme financial assistance for folks who received subsidy in from or qualified for unemployment last year was a one year subsidy. So for 2022, those folks, um, will have to qualify for financial assistance um, based on their traditional financial incomes, um, which could have a, a pretty significant increase for membership or from a premium standpoint uh, for those folks because now it's completely based on income. This rescue plan was, a, as a, was part of a larger trillion dollar package that was um, implemented as a part of the COVID relief um, these pieces are things that are going to continue to carry into 2022 um, that we need to be mindful of, especially in the individual space. But keep this in mind as we start to look at some of our new product offerings in the two to 50 space um, a little bit later. The second piece of legislation that was enacted, and this was actually signed into law back in 2020, was the Consolidated Appropriations Act. And it kind of has two components. One is a, a it, it, think of it as a section, a Title I, which is the No Surprises component of the No Surprises Act, and then a, a focus on transparency. And they're, they're kind of two different sections all within the same Consolidated Appropriations Act. Um, but this was signed prior to the American Rescue Plan um, designed to provide the No Surprise Act was to provide more, it, it all revolves a lot around transparency and providing more um, information upfront to consumers. Um, so we go back to providing out-of-pocket deductible information and maximum out-of-pockets on, on ID cards was a major impact um, that we will see moving forward and that will start in 2022 and then moving forward will be a part of the ID cards, will have that information on the front so that members are aware of those financial responsibilities that they have um, with their health insurance. It also created a, um, a necessity for a cost comparison tool um, so that folks have a better understanding of what their um, 
cost and member responsibilities are going to be so that there are no surprises. Um, so there is a enhanced um, comparison tool that members through Blue Cross now have access to um, with our My Health Toolkit, which is our online portal for members to be able to understand prior to a procedure what the cost is going to be, what's the estimate of their patient responsibilities. So all of that and now has been implemented. It is actually up live um, on our website now for members to be able to, to access that to better understand what they may be looking at from a financial responsibility from a procedure standpoint. Um, the, the Appropriations Act also had a, a piece around transparency and trying to, um, to remove some of the air layers of um, non-transparent communications. Um, it has um, requires insurance carriers to disclose um, any type of compensation information um, it amends um, ERISA that requires service providers, um, you know, so it, it is designed to implement transparency to make health insurance and the communications on how it is sold and, and administered more transparent to consumers. Um, we'll see some additional implementation in 2022 around the Transparency Act and how it impacts groups based on size and, and where their um, coverages are provided. So it is still being, um, it was legislated in 2020, the implementation um, and execution carries from 2021 into 2022. So there'll be much more from a regulatory standpoint around the consolidations, the CAA moving forward. Um, so we'll certainly share that information as it impacts small business owners um, in 2022 as well. So I do want to take a, a few minutes um, this morning just to, to remind folks that Blue Cross provides coverage, not just in the two to 50 space, but we have a very robust program for employer groups that are 51 plus um, offered through our Chamber Blue. Um, it's for 51 plus. Um, we have made some um, adjustments to the plan designs within this space, um, but it also provides that local service um, with the innovative plan designs and the benefits to the local community. But we've also um, looked at from a pricing structure standpoint, making sure that our plans with all of the value that comes with them are also um, in a competitive pricing point. So that as we look in the landscape in the, in the 51 plus, you know, we, we do have some products that are gonna be very appealing or very um, attractive to, to larger business owners. And as your business, as we like to, would hope to see their business grow from, you know, from a two to 50 to a 51 plus, Blue Cross is going to have plans that are going to meet your needs all along that spectrum as you grow your business. Here's just a couple of highlights for the 2022. Um, once again, providing innovative products, but also listening to the marketplace to see where are some places that we can um, strengthen our product portfolios. Um, I'll highlight here in just a moment a, a plan that is a copay only plan where there's not a deductible, there's no coinsurance, but everything in the plan is built around a copay only structure. Um, we continue to look at all of these plan designs to build a portfolio that, that matches what the, the marketplace um, is required, is asking for. We've removed some of the RX deductibles on some of our secure plans. Um, all of this is designed to, to continue to be offer a product suite in the space that is um, appealing and attractive for those larger business owners. Um, I mentioned this, this copay only plan in the small in the large group space, uh, 51 plus. Everything is driven by a copay. Um, so you know the, the doctor's office, inpatient, all of these things are driven by copays as opposed to a deductible and out-of-pocket maximums. Um, or co-insurances. <clears throat> so this is a, a, an innovative approach to trying to provide um, kind of a, the use it as you consume it model. Um, so we're looking at you know, ways to, to really focus and understand um, you know, what that um, co-pay structure looks like. And, and, and it is innovative in this market space. Um, we do have it in some of our other individual 
portfolio spaces as well. So this is a, a way to try to provide uh, something within the, within the space that um, really meets the consumer's needs. Um, there are a couple of other program enhancements as we look at um, in 2022. The My Diabetes Discount Program is something that we're really excited about that rolls out 1-1 one, one, um, in this space to provide some real financial savings um, within the, uh, those folks who are, who are battling diabetes. Um, we also, and we'll talk more about Blue Rewards when we roll out our small group 2-50, um, but it is going to be available on all of our 51 plus groups for 2022 as well. And as we walk through the small group space, I'll show you what the Blue Rewards program is. So I'll get you to hold off on that question for now and we'll talk through it as we walk through the two to 50 space. Um, but I do wanna now kind of shift. We, we kind of got a, a feel of the landscape from a legislative standpoint. We understand what the marketplace looks like uh, so what I really want to try to do is then spend the next, you know, 15, 20 minutes talking through what are the things in the two to 50 space that really are new, unique, that are going to really be exciting in, in the business community um, to better help you attract the workforce, um, which right now in a very labor tight market, um, one of the benefits that may provide a, a, a strategic advantage for you is to be able to provide high quality health insurance. Uh, so one of the things that we all know in South Carolina is that there are a tremendous amount of small businesses that drive our economy with employers offering, having less than 50 employees. It's over 73,000 in South Carolina. Um, and I'll quote from the Greenville Chamber, more than 80% of small businesses in Greenville have less than 50 employees, and there's about 1,800 of them. So it is a significant part in the Greenville market as well that are these two to 50. So why this has become so important is really reinforcing those are the kinds of businesses that are driving the economy in Greenville and why we want to provide options to meet them where they are. So here is the, the full product portfolio space that we offer in the two to 50. The Affordable Care Act plans or the Business Blue Essential plans have been there. Um, they are the, in my mind, the market leader. They provide the most comprehensive um, combination of benefits, value adds, discounts, networks, and service of any plan in the marketplace. Um, those plans now are in a, in a position that we'll talk about from a pricing standpoint where we've been, they're stronger than they've been in the last several years. We also introduced the individual coverage, HRA, or as we affectionately call it, ICRA, uh, in 2020, 2021. And we have seen a tremendous amount of response to that as a way to, to bring folks who may not have previously offered health insurance back into the small group space. And we are now very excited to offer a level funded product called Blue Measure um, into the space with effective dates of 1 1 2022. And we'll walk through what that level funded is at a high level here today. If you need more detailed, specific information, we can certainly share that with you um, with an agent or, or in a direct communication. But, but that's a, a suite of portfolios to meet all of the potential options within this two to 50 space that we previously. Um, needed to, to improve. And, and we're here today to announce that it's all there for the, for the taking. Our portfolio of ACA, that business blue essentials that has been there. Um, you know, I mentioned that the rating factors within our plans now are as competitive as they've been in the last three to five years. It continues to be a value with the network size, the stability, the discount strength that Blue Cross has. We are the only carrier that's based in South Carolina that, that has been here for 75 years um, that provides direct support to the communities that our physicians and hospitals work. Uh, we're happy to, to, to be partnered um, in these local communities. And that gives us um, some real strength that other carriers just simply can't have because they're not based here in South Carolina. Um, and our product offerings, and we're gonna look at this when we look at the individual coverage HRA, but there are some product offerings that no one else in the marketplace is offering 
the individual coverage, the ICRA is not being offered by other carriers. So Blue Cross continues to lead the way in providing innovative solutions to partner with our business communities to help you thrive in a, in a very difficult time. Uh, so the so the business blue essentials is a is the kind of the stalwart. Um, it's been the the flagship. Um, there are some limited types of incentives or um, value adds that we can add to that because they are part of the Affordable Care Act. Um, but we do have some exciting news in this space that we're going to talk about here at the end on on ways to add additional value on top of that. Um, one of the things that we have heard a lot about is that um, there's often when you get into these business blue essential plans, they seem to change. I'll tell you, the plan designs are very static this year. Um, the, the, the changes from one year to the next um, were minimal um, for these plans. Um, we're in a very special, unique situation right now prior to the 1-1 one -one effective date, um, you know, where we have some flexibility around participation and contribution requirements um, through this special open enrollment window now. Um, so once again, if you're in a situation where you're looking to maybe make a change from another carrier or looking for another option, you know, now is a wonderful time to have that opportunity with the competitive and stable rates moving forward. You know, you can have rates at the beginning, but if they, if they um, go up, um, next year over year, then you know, it, it, where's the real benefit of having to make a change again? So that the competitive pricing, as well as the stability of those rates, long term continues to give Blue Cross a real significant advantage um, because this is home. This is the only place that we um, own and operate businesses. So we, we really want to make sure that we're providing a long term solution for our business owners. So now let's spend a couple of minutes so you understand how our chamber, excuse me, our business will essential ACA plans, how they're positioned in a really strong way. We also have some products that are new to the marketplace for Blue Cross. The Blue Measure, which is a level funded plan that is now available for a 1-1 effective date. Um, <clears throat> if you're not familiar with level funding, it is a, it's a cross between um, self-insured and fully insured. Uh, there are some real uh, potential options here um, where you can include, um, it, it provides you the ability to balance or to, to have a set um, premium contribution amount throughout the year. It's not something that fluctuates, it's a set amount. Um, it includes um, protections for large stop loss claims for those that are um, they may have some high dollar claims. Um, it's a blend so that it, it, it gives you some opportunities. There's also um, a chance for or uh, based on how the claims expenditure for the year goes, where there may be a, a refund that is available to you. Um, we are very excited to be able to introduce this now in the tens uh, live space in the small group space. There's 15 plans that are available in this space that you and your company can look at in and out of networks. There's um, a variety of plan options. There's copay only. It continues to provide the sustained health wellness benefit. Um, we'd be happy to go through a, a, a great deal about the plans um, with you if it's something that you as an organization wanna look at for your members. It's a, it's a wonderful product that's available for one one. Um, and if the, if the blue measure is a fit for you and it's purchased through the Greenville Chamber, we're gonna add the blue rewards program that I mentioned is in the over 50 space. And I'll, I'll, I'll stop the tease on what the blue rewards program is um, since we're, we're including it with the chamber blue measure for level funded in the two to 50 space. It's an incentive program. It provides incentives to your employees to do typical, what we would consider preventative maintenance care, an annual flu shot, an annual wellness exam, to participate in telehealth medicine. Um, for each of these activities, Blue Cross will provide um, financial or provide money to a um, visa card for the provider um, for each of these activities. So if they get their annual flu shot, it's a $60 per member contribution to a visa card. So if you've got a family of four on the card or on the policy, 
each of those members can qualify for each of these activities. So a family of four can earn up to $600 that's loaded to this uh, Visa prepaid card that can then be used to um, cover medical expenses, co-pays, um, co-insurance, um, things that would be medical would be provided, um, excuse me, would be for the members' responsibilities. The one right now exception that we have is that it can't be used at the pharmacy because it's driven by place of service. We want to make sure that these dollars are used from a medical standpoint. Um, but it does allow for them to pay co-pays, deductibles, co-insurances um, at doctors and provider offices um, so that they will offset the cost of those uh, patient responsibilities. Um, it's an exciting program, as we've seen um, with the rise in COVID and the, the expansion of the telehealth platforms. You know, that's another great way for members to continue to receive incentives um, and financial benefits, um, as well as um, accessing their providers in what often is being a little more of a safe environment by not having to go into the provider's office. So very excited to offer this Blue Rewards program on all of our level funded products um, with effective dates of 1-1-2022. The Blue Rewards is also included in our individual coverage, health insurance or health reimbursement arrangement, which is ICRA, which is the last piece that we'll talk about. Um, that Blue Rewards program has only been available to our individual members previously. So we're excited to expand it and include it into the small group space um, with the chamber as well. Um, the last product that I will touch on here today, and this is something that Blue Cross is the only carrier in South Carolina that is offering this that I'm aware of, is this individual coverage health reimbursement arrangement, or as we call it, ICRA. It's a, it's a, it's a cross between small, traditional small group coverage and individual coverage. And it allows, similarly to the level funded, it allows you to, to set your contribution levels. It's designed to help bring folks back into the insurance that may not have previously um, been able to afford. They can now set what those um, financial contributions are going to be because it helps to define um, those contribution amounts and set them so the business can, can budget around those. Um, it helps from a, it's a blend, it's a, a, a cross between small group and individual. So it helps from those who may be struggling from a participation standpoint. Um, and it gives groups the ability to provide some flexibility to their employees. Most importantly, we want to use it as a way for groups that are not currently offering health insurance to be able to come back into the marketplace. Um, and offer health insurance um, through a plan that is defined contributions where they can manage what those costs are gonna be um, and not have to worry about any premium increases and things like that. One of the things that is also, and this is where the benefit of working with the chamber, this individual coverage HRA through the, um, with Blue Cross, the administration fee that Blue Cross um, is going to provide, there's going to be a savings that Blue Cross will provide um, for those administration fees. So you'll see a savings and that's only available if you're a member of the chamber. So once again, providing value with your membership with the Blue Cross chamber. Um, so we're really excited to be able to offer all of these products and benefits through the chamber, the Blue Rewards program. And then there's one final piece that I'm getting ready to introduce to you that is a an additional value of the chamber that applies to all of our plans. I do want to take a minute to introduce or kind of reinforce that whole idea of innovative product offerings that Blue Cross offers. Um, we have introduced for 2022 um, an individual plan that provides a blend of coverage locally as well as nationally that we typically have offered through our PPO program all of our individual plans that we currently offer are EPO benefit plans, meaning they're limited to the service area, which has been a, an area of concern for small group owners because they have previously had access to the Blue Card Nationwide program, which provides access to 
Blue Cross plans across the country. So we have introduced a plan that is off exchange, meaning you can't use it. But if you do offer an individual coverage IRA uh, or an ICRA, you do have access to this Blue Extend program or Blue Extend product um, that allows employees and their family to access that PPO network when they purchase the Blue Extend on our private marketplace. Um, so trying to continue to expand where we provide our value and networks um, into a space that we previously haven't been able to offer it. So we're very excited about this innovative product design for the 2022, um, especially in that individual coverage HRA platform um, that we just that we introduced a couple of years ago. So we feel like this will be a, an expansion of that that'll continue to provide some real value. So the so the last piece that I want I will stop sharing trying to share the video feed here is a new product and, and we, we've touched on them as we've gone along the values that are that are added uh, to your um, partnership and being a member of the Greenville Chamber. There is one additional value that we want to talk about today that is new um, in working with the Greenville Chamber and that's our um, it's an offering called Chamber Plus. Uh, and this is actually a, a benefit that's being provided to you through the Greenville Chamber. And it adds value to your group when you purchase a plan through Blue Cross. It's a, um, a discount or reimbursement program on vision and dental. So that if, and it's called Chamber Plus. Uh, and so this is being offered to you through the Greenville Chamber by buying a Blue Cross product and being a member of the Greenville Chamber. So we, if this is layered on top of the benefit plan that you purchase from Blue Cross, so it'll get a separate Chamber Plus ID card. It provides co-pays for eye exams. It has discounts for glasses and lenses and contacts. There's a network of more than a thousand providers in the VSP network. In addition, it provides reimbursements for dental so that you have two annual cleanings and two annual exams per year per member. Uh, and this is for the employee only. There's no uh, network restrictions on the dental plan. It's a reimbursement plan. So you, you, you choose the network, dentist, use any network, and then submit the claim for reimbursement. Um, and that's reimbursed to the employee. So this is being provided to all groups that purchase through the chamber um, at no cost to the group. Um, and it provides a tremendous additional value for vision and dental, which oftentimes are some real benefits that may not be included, um, but are real valuable to your employees. Uh, and, and we're very excited to be partnering with the, with the chamber, Greenville Chamber, to offer this to all small, small groups that purchase Blue Cross plans through the chamber. So here's kind of the, the, the summary of, of what we've, you know, kind of that, um, why be a member of the chamber and how does this continue to add value? So when we look at our individual coverage or ICRA, um, you know, there's administrative savings on the HRA. You also have access to the new Chamber Plus product. Blue Rewards is a part of the individual um, product offerings, as well as the dedicated support teams that are available in South Carolina through um, individual small group reps, you have access to sales, customer service, and support that's unmatched in the market, in our state, in our market um, that's available. On the blue measure level funded, you know, we're very excited once again about that blue rewards that's being um, included in that offering, along with the Chamber Plus and the dedicated support. And then for the metallic plans, I mentioned that there's you know, those are regulated through the ACA a good bit. So there's, there's some limitations on what we can do there. Um, but the chamber is offering this chamber plus. So we're able to include that in any blue, business blue essential plan that's purchased and through the Greenville Chamber, along with all the dedicated customer service and support for you from a business. So that's a, a kind of a, a, a as you can see, there is a tremendous amount of, of, 
um, expansion and the product offerings that we're, we're offering in this two to 50 space, new products, expanding on existing products, and then um, growing the product offerings that are there as well now. So, um, you know, what we want to do is, you know, so the next is how do you, how do you get started? And, you know, if, if you have questions or want more information, you can visit with the Greenville, you know, visit the Greenville Chambers um, website. Um, you know, there's a contact us form um, that is available from a call to action standpoint, um, you know, under the partner section and, and under health insurance. Um, I think at this point, we've got some time. I'm going to pause and bring Liz back on. We can take some questions and answers. Um, I'm also available. If you have questions, you can reach out to me as well. Um, but Liz, I think at this point, um, if you don't mind, I'd be happy to answer any questions. I know I threw a lot of information at folks um, in a fairly short amount. Are you back with us, Stephen? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the presentation. Uh, we did have one question in the chat box for now. Um, said, will you be sending these out so we can review more in depth and compare to current plans? I assume they're referring to the presentation. Um, this actually presentation will be recorded and posted on our website, but the best way to compare to current plans would be to, if you have an existing agent with Blue Cross Blue Shield is to reach out to them or fill out the form on our website and someone will reach out to you with the various options. Absolutely, and we'd love to sit down and, and hear, you know, what is it that's best, you know, where are you at currently and how can we, you know, like as, as you can see, there's a there's a plan and, a, and an offering that I think will fit just about every business option in the, in the area. And we'd love to have those conversations with you. We've still got time for, if you're in an open enrollment period for a one-one day, we'd love to have those conversations understand where you are, what are your goals, how do you want to, you know, structure the plan and, and then get that taken. Well, we are thrilled that we have these options available. Um, once the association health plans went away a couple years ago, um, there wasn't a lot of offerings in that two to 50 market. So we feel like this is very competitive and gives our folks a lot of options. Um, if someone is looking to make a change for their insurance that has a renewal date of January 1, are they too late? Absolutely not. We, we still have plenty of time to look at a plan. Um, if they're currently with another carrier, we'd love to hear, you know, kind of and meet with them and hear what their um, goals are, what their census looks like, and then, and then look at a, a options as we discussed today, you know, what's the best plan option for them. Um, but yeah, no, we, we have plenty of time between now and the end of December to, to make changes for groups uh, for a 1-1 one -one effective date. Wonderful. And another quick question in regards to the Blue Rewards program, um, is the carryover of $60 just for the subscriber or how does that work if there are multiple members on a policy, say it's a family policy? Yeah, that's a really good question. And I, I, I'm glad that, that we need to clarify just to make sure so the, the $150 per member, each member on the policy, it's, you know, you have up to $600 each or this year, you, the members are allowed to carry over $60 per member. So if it's a family of four, they can carry up to $240 from this year into next year and then have the ability to, to earn another 600 in 2022. Wonderful. Are there any other questions? If you have questions, feel free to type those into the chat box. I do hope that you all will visit our website and if you have additional questions, reach out to Stephen or to fill out the form on the site to get more information. Again, there are so many options available for any business uh, with two or more employees. Um, as you can see, and we've tried to make it very beneficial to our small to mid-sized businesses to be able to offer insurance um, products to their employees. Um, we um, have realized that we have to be competitive in the marketplace as far as talent recruitment and retention and providing benefits is one of the ways to do that. 
Uh, we do have a question again, where exactly is the form again? If you go to www.greenvillechamber.org backslash savings and click on the health insurance tab, that page contains the form for you to fill out and it gets sent in right away and you should receive um, uh, contact with someone within 24 business hours. Yeah, we're very excited and, and really look forward to, to meeting with folks in the Greenville area to, to walk through those um, new plan options. You know, that there are some, you know, the level funded, there's some pieces to understand about that, that, you know, really need to just have a conversation. Um, the individual coverage, the ICRA is another piece that, um, because they're new product offerings, it just takes a little bit of time to understand how to structure them, how to best set them up to fit what it is that you as a business owner are trying to accomplish. Um, and so we're, we're really excited, you know, this is um, to get these plans out, have these conversations. Wonderful. Well, thank you again, Stephen. We really appreciate you all being with us and the partnership with Blue Cross Blue Shield. Um, Wanna again, thank all of you for joining us this morning for our Community Matters. Reminder, a recording of this will be shared on our website, but will also be sent to each of you who registered for the program today. Um, along with the survey, we just ask that you take a moment to complete the survey. Um, it's important to us to help us create content for future community matters. Um, so we would love it if you would share your feedback with us. Um, and in closing, let's just do our part to care for our community. And I hope you all have a great rest of the week. Thanks, Liz. I really appreciate this opportunity and I apologize for the camera situation. It is what it is for 2021. Yes, sir. Thank you, Stephen. Take care. Take care, everybody.